Every business in the software space can benefit from the technical standards themselves without necessarily participating in a technical standards committee or a technical standards process. Once those standards are put out there into the world and get adopted by businesses, they improve efficiency of communication because you don't have to have one-to-one -one communication between you and your business partners or you and your customers. You can leverage these standards to be able to communicate with partners in your value chain. So that uh, enables efficiency of, of process, efficiency of communication, and allows you to actually employ people who know how to use those standards, which also shortens your development time for your staff and everything, because everybody can benefit from using that standard to communicate. Yes, I think the main benefit really is that the interoperability and that new developers, new companies find relevant guidance on how to do certain things if they want to be interoperable. You're always free to do your own proprietary implementations besides or along or even not go for these standards at all. Uh, but if you follow the standards, it's going to be a lot easier for you to get traction to be interoperable with others. Anchors is a company that provides a wallet as well as some tool for businesses to integrate payments in a very easy way. So the most important thing for the TSC is to solve problems that are quite standard for every business that has to deal with Bitcoin and you know all of this new technology. It gives a lot of uncertainty. So having some standards to solve problems in the same way for everybody is very beneficial because it gives less uncertainty, less risk for businesses and also the fact that we can all use the same tools helps us with, to speed up the, the integration, to share knowledge. I believe there should be only one way of solving certain problems. It's something that I've seen in, in other industries. So you have one problem and there's one evident solution that everybody should use. So the main benefit of that is it gives less uncertainty to businesses because they know how to solve every problem that they're gonna find along the way. It, it speeds up um, adoption. So I think these are the main keys to me. Uh, we know Bitcoin scales from the technical perspective, and now we need to scale from the human perspective. So I think the Technical Standards Committee is doing a great job in that area. There are a lot, a lot of projects and companies in the Bitcoin ecosystem, and a lot of times we are doing, I wouldn't say the exact same thing, but we are doing very similar things. So one at least benefit for me is to you know, if it's standard, if somebody can just have some reference implementation, we can, you know, reuse the effort. We don't have to, you know, everybody has to do the same thing again and again. Another benefit I could see immediately is the interoperability. So if everybody is doing their own thing, and then it's, we are going back to the water garden, right? So, you know, this wallet, you know, does a thing A and this way, and. Uh, Another wallet does it another way, so they cannot uh, talk to each other, which is not good for the whole ecosystem to, to grow. Another example I could think of is, uh, think about tokens, right? Because now, the BSV system, because there's no official token standard, such as, you know, ERC20, that's uh, dominant in Ethereum. So we have, at least personally I know, we have more than 10 token protocols. I mean, it's good we have different particles, they can all compete, but also it would be nice if we can have some like a minimum set of the common features as a common interface, like ERC20. You, let's say you can, you know, query the supply, you can transfer it, and then once we have the common interface, we can standardize it, it probably through the TSC process, then all the tokens can be interoperable. For example, if let's say Handcash support token A, and then you go to money button, you can also send the token from you know, hand cash to money button, which in this, up to now, is uh, without the standard, it's, it's almost impossible to do. As I thought about this just in, in prepping for the interview, I thought, you know, we have standards all around us. We don't call them standards, but in, in computing worlds, operating systems provide standards operating systems, I could decide for myself to do all of the work of writing everything the operating system does for myself, and yes, I have unlimited freedom to do that, but boy, I've got a lot of responsibility if I'm going to take on everything the software stack brings to the table. 
So involving myself in standards allows me to decide what elements I don't have to be part of, what I don't have to do, and I can concentrate my efforts more specifically. I found that throughout the course of my career in many cases of exploiting and understanding the environment that I'm working in and using those other resources around me allows me to focus my efforts in the places that bring the most value. Financial systems were automated very early on in computing because it's expensive to keep track of finances and it has to be very accurate. So already in the world today, in our financial world, we have many standards that exist because most of these systems have been automated in some way. To the extent that we understand how they were automated and what they do, we can look at new ways of doing those things and enhance and improve them, lower the cost on them, make them more available, more ubiquitous. That process of, of reinventing that financial world is something that will come through standards and understanding these worlds and integration into those systems. The uh, BSV focus on technical standards and its integration and low cost focus is going to be key to that process because it's bringing the energy of innovation to a new space but going to be replacing so much of the legacy world that's out there. I think when you look at a, a particular business looking to interoperate with other businesses using a standard, having other people share in the workload in terms of developing the standard and building higher quality standards that you might not be able to do by yourself is really, really important and it saves a lot of time. And in addition to that, there's lots of opportunities to work with other companies to develop implementations that build on these standards that again just saves tremendous amount of time. So time to market, lower costs, better solutions, more robust outcomes effectively. It really just speaks to um, delivering better outcomes for business and that can mean a bunch of things, but I mean, ultimately cost less, quicker. And then also some of the standards in the blockchain itself, which I think is really important, I think has a fundamentally novel approach that lends itself well to accountability. And that kind of leads into ESG. Um, there's a lot of uh, unique opportunities that it unlocks. So from that perspective as well, we think that there's just a blockchain-based approach and the standards that go on it can also deliver value there as well.